New at six, we now have a better idea how many millions of dollars it will cost to clean up the mess at the Austin Police Crime Lab. KXAN investigator Arzo Dose joins us now after discovering these new numbers mean a much bigger problem than previously thought. Arzo? Right, Shannon. Well, the Travis County District Attorney's Office is getting ready to send out about 4,000 notices. They're going to people whose convictions were based in part on DNA testing at the APD crime lab. Now, a new report to county commissioners suggests those results may not even be reliable as evidence after a string of problems that eventually led to the lab's closure. Now, in the past year, all of those cases will have to go under review. But how exactly? Well, the report suggests there are three options ranging from six and a half million dollars to nearly 14 and a half million dollars. The cost goes up quickly, the more quickly that you want the review done. Now, it would take between four to five years for attorneys and investigators to get through all the cases. The reason for these options, well, who will be doing the reviews and the litigations, current staff, hiring more staff or even bringing in outside staff. Now keep in mind these are just estimates from the Capital Area Private Defender Service, a nonprofit defense service in Travis County, but they are the most specific numbers that we have gotten so far. Right now the group is funded through a one-year grant. So where will the rest of the money come from and when will the process really start? Well, all up in the air right now, but we will continue to keep asking those questions and let you know as soon as we know. Shannon. Arzo, thank you. We break down these developments further in this story on the homepage of KXAN.com right now. You will also find a link to our interactive investigation, Justice Unraveled, where we profile some of the high-profile murder cases in question now after these revelations.